Hello friends, welcome to my channel and explore the world of Microsoft Azure. My name is Rajneesh Kaushik and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer, Consultant and an Enterprise Architect. For more latest videos and blogs, you can always log into my website rajneeshkaushik.com and subscribe to my blog. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss the latest videos. Do like, share and comment. In this session, we will learn how to build and push images to Azure Container Registry and deploy these images to AKS or Azure Kubernetes Services. Here is the overview of the session. First, we will learn how to import images from Docker Hub and push these images to Azure Container Registry. Then we will understand how to build the new custom images and then push these new custom images to Azure Container Registry. Then finally, we will follow with the demo. So these are the two scenarios. Uh, in one of the scenario, user wants to import the image which is already created in Docker Hub and then push this image into the private registry or ACR in Azure. And then from there, the user deploys this image into the Azure Kubernetes services. In scenario two, user creates a local custom image and this image is created with the help of Docker file. And then finally, after creating this image, it is getting deployed into, uh, pushed into the Azure Container Registry. And from the Azure Container Registry, this image is getting deployed to the AKS or Azure Kubernetes Services. So let's see what are the uh, steps of this demo. First, we will create a Azure Container Registry and uh, Azure Kubernetes uh, Services instances with the Azure CLI. Then we will complete the first scenario uh, for importing the container image from Docker Hub and push it into the ACR. Then we'll uh, move to the scenario two of the demo where we will build a new custom image. We will verify the custom image by running it, whether this image is successfully running locally. And then we will tag this image and push it into the ACR. Now, once we push it into the ACR, we will delete the custom image created locally. This, that means the step three, we created a custom image. So now we will delete it, okay? And then now we'll pull this image from the ACR because we already pushed this image. Now we will pull that image and then again run it. So if this image is running fine, that means we are successfully able to push this image and pull this image as well. And then we will verify the image. The third part of this demo, which is a, uh, to deploy this image into the AKS. So for deploying the image into AKS, we'll create a AKS deployment file and then apply this file to the AKS. And finally, we will verify whether our deployment is successful or not. So let's jump to the demo. Okay, so first we will use AZ login to log into the Azure. Then we will set these variable values like location, resource group name, ACR name, and AKS cluster name. And then uh, we will start you creating the resource group. In the resource group, we are going to use these variables, uh, location and resource group name. And then um, we will create an ACR instance. In ACR instance, we will create the, uh, the Azure Container Registry instance with the SKU basic and then we will use this predefined set variables. Then we will create an AKS instance. In the AKS instance, this is very important to see the last step where we are attaching this uh, ACR name so that whenever we want to use AKS for pushing the image, we can directly push this because without this integration, it is not possible to push the image into AKS. Now let's see uh, what is the first step here or first option. So for first option, you will use AZ, AZ ACR import. And then in that import, we are going to um, put the name of the ACR registry. And then in the source, we will provide the source. It can be any source. It can be a different Docker registry um, or ACR registry, or it can be the Docker Hub. Docker.io is Docker Hub. 
and we are getting the image of NGNIX latex image. And then in this latest Im uh, tag image, we will use our own tag, uh, you know, version one. Okay, so this is the way we are going to import it. So, because since I have already created this uh, cluster and image, so let me run this command and show you. So we can see that command is successfully executed and this created a image with the version one tag. And if you see the command, uh, again, we created a version one tag here. Version one tag here, see. So this is already created, so that means it is successful. So in the part two of the demo, we will use a Docker file. In the Docker file, we will um, use the image from the Docker Hub and then copy the um, locally created index.html file. Okay, and in this file will be copied to the nginx at this location. So once we run this command, uh, Docker uh, will create a build. So this is the name of the Docker file. And then this is the name of uh, the image which we are going to tag it. And then this is going to take the uh, content from the existing directory. And once this image is created, we will run this image on the port 8080. That means the local port of NGINX will be mapped to 8080 port externally. That means on my laptop, this port will be mapped to internal 80 port. And the image which we are going to use here, this image we are going to run, and then we will name it as NGINX my web page. Once we run this image, we will see whether uh, this is NGINX is working or not. So let's build this image. Yes, this image is already built now. And then let's go to the next step for running this image. So we will run this image. Okay, so now this image is already running. So let's see whether this image shows you something. So we will go to local host. We'll go to local host 8080 and then you can see this image is showing the web page is showing which we have copied from locally. So what are the content of this web page? Um, let me show you that. These are the content of this web page. Now we already created an image and successfully verified it. So the next step would be to log into the Azure Container Registry with the AZ ACR login so that you can push this image to the uh, registry. So before we push this image, first we need to tag this image. In order to tag the image, we will use a Docker tag and then the image name, and then we will use this uh, registry address and then we use this option like you can use my custom image or anything else and then the name of the image which you want to use okay so we will use that and this will tag the image once you have the tagged image then you will use docker push and then the tagged image full path of the tagged image so let's start uh, doing that so first step is to tag it So we are able to successfully tag the image. Now we will push this image into the Docker. For this, we will use this command. So now this image is getting pushed. So it's successfully pushed. Now let's verify if this image is visible in this registry or not. Yes, it is visible in the registry. And we can see that this is the latest image. 
so it's already visible because we have tagged it as a latest if you don't specify a tag in the tag command then it is automatically taken as latest okay so this is now done now what we will do we will remove this image which because we already created this image in the local so we will first remove this image locally okay and then what we will do we will um, we will see that whether this image is removed so this image is not there if you see that means this particular image my with this name is not there so now we will use the pull command uh, to pull this image from docker and we, what is the pull command pull command will directly pull this image from the docker that means the acr not docker it is acr so then we will use the pull command so it's all not able to pull this now let's see if this is pulled here yes so now we are able to pull it directly from acr now let's run this command uh, run this image on the local system so for this we are going to use docker run okay. and before we run it we will make sure that we delete the uh, instance of the image which is already running if there is an image which is already running so yes so now let me uh, delete that in case this image is already running Yeah, here it is. So let me first remove it if we want to remove. Okay, so I think there is nothing running as of now. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, run this image. Okay, so that means now this image is successfully running and we should be able to see in this local host because this particular image now is coming from local host. Okay, so it is not the same image which we ran initially. This is the brand new image and this is being serviced. So this image was pulled from the Docker ACR uh, Azure Container Registry and then being run here. So this is a uh, another part of the demo now what we will do we will create the AKS credentials and then uh, we will uh, create a deployment file to deploy this image into the uh, AKS so let's get started so first uh, we will use the AKS credentials So we will use it here. So AKS credential uh, resource group name is AKS demo. And then cluster name is also AKS demo. So this will get the um, credentials for the resource group. Now we will move to the deployment file and this is a deployment file so this deployment file we have created to deploy this image into the um, AKS so this is a standard deployment file right we have created two different replicas and we are getting this image directly from the ACR and this is the uh, image which we pu pushed in our earlier command so we are going to copy this image with the help of this deployment file and then um, run it into the AKS so let's get started with that so for this we will just apply this cube cutter command and it will run this image there
and before we run it let me show you that this particular in the uh, AKS instance does not contain any of these this image so let's see this is our AKS instance and in the workloads you don't see any image running here and once I run the command you will see the new image coming up okay so now the deployment is created and we will refresh it after refreshing you will see that this new deployment is already done and if you carefully looked at it you will find that this is the name of the deployment NGINX0 deployment and this is the image name so with this we are successfully able to deploy this image and there are these two replica so these are the two replicas which is running for this image okay so with this we uh, completed our end to end demo thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the new